Hey guys, and welcome to this week's edition of Project TJ. My name's Daryl Sheather, and welcome to the channel. Um, this week we're focusing on soundproofing. And what spurred it on isn't the soundproofing so much, it's the heat that's coming out of the transmission tunnel on the left hand seat. Um, and what's really amusing is when you peel the carpet back there is an actual warning sticker from Jeep saying, do not peel the carpet back because it gets very hot. Um, it actually gets very hot through the carpet. So anyway, um, I've tried to get some baseline figures on decibel readings and I've downloaded a DB meter app and through doing constant readings on the freeway at about 80, 90 kilometers an hour, we're getting an average of 77 decibels in the cab. Um, I'd say most of that is tire noise from having the cane freeze on. There's probably some drumming and of course the mechanical noise we're getting through the firewall and the floor. Um, there really isn't any soundproofing to speak of in those things. So what we're going to do is I've got some Dynamats Extreme. Why is it extreme? I don't know, but I hope it's more extreme than the standard Dynamat which I've used before. Um, there are cheaper versions of this. You can get a generic version which is, costs a lot less. I've used Dynamat in the past. I've had some quite good results out of it. So it's the sort of thing I put in once and forget about it because it's all sticky tar and I don't know how you'd get it off. Um, so I've bought what is a trunk pack or boot pack uh, for a subwoofer installation. There's four very large sheets. I'm hoping I get enough for driver and passenger footwell and transmission tunnel and whatever's left we'll put in the rear of the car. Um, do some testing. If it's worthwhile, I'll get some more and finish off the back and we may even line the inside of the doors with it. Um, I can't see why we wouldn't get good results, but anyway, um, this stuff's an easy fix. It's a uh, foil front, a asphalt inside, which really does most of the sound deadening and, and stops the panels from sort of drumming as they do. Um, and with a stick, with a peel off sticky back, uh, you generally lay it on the floor, roll it out to the floor's dimples with a roller, which is really expensive if you buy the Dynamat one. Um, I tend just to buy a really small, hard centre paint roller, and it does much the same thing. And the rest of it you can just push in with your fingers and the like. Um, so again, this is one of those fairly easy jobs, but I'm hoping it proves quite good benefits. So let's crack on and get into it. So I've pulled the carpet back. I've pulled out the rubber bunk bung in the floor, given it a good clean and a vacuum. And for those who would like to know, this is the warning sticker where do not peel carpet back, very hot, ouchy. So yeah, I hope you take notice of that. So it looks as though one sheet is going to do the base of the footwell. Um, I've started to peel this off from the back. I've still left most of, most of the backing paper on and we're just going to roll that down. Now with the piece that's going onto the tunnel, I've just roughly measured it up and cut it with a box cutter or Stanley knife. You can also use scissors on this, it's quite simple to, to cut. Um, I'm going to tuck it up underneath the console and overlap it onto the floor. So again, just pull off the backing.
Okay, so as with the left hand side, the right hand side, we've pulled the carpet back, vacuumed, cleaned the floor and prepped it ready for this. I've also pulled the bung out as per the other side. So that's all in and I've lived with this for a few days like I always try to do before I wrap these videos up uh, just in case anything pops up. There has been a definite change in the cab with regard to noise. I don't know how good these decibel meter results are but I've tried to replicate it as best as I can. Um, previously we had a max with no sound deadening we had a maximum decibel reading of 84 with an average of 77 now we've got a maximum decibel reading of 80 with an average of 74 um, whether that's spot on or not I don't know how good the app is um, or how good my my taking of data was but anyway um, it's definitely better though. The radio doesn't have to be as loud and when I've had someone else in the car, chatting to them is a lot easier um, and it's just a much more comfortable place to be. So I will get another pack of that. I've got a, there was five sheets in that pack. Um, I, I'll have a look and I don't think I need to pack that big again. Uh, I've got to do the rear wheel arches inside the doors. Um, when we take the console off, we need to do the top of the console, the transmission tunnel. Um, and I also have to replace the heater core at some point. So when we take the dash off, we'll do the firewall. So th that should make quite a difference again. 
um, but it's it's a much nicer place to be in even with the soft top on uh, than what it was so as a long distance tour this is sort of working out quite well so that's it for today guys uh, as always if you like what I'm doing, subscribe to the channel and like our video on the way out. If you want some merch, the link's down below. Um, thank you so much for those people that have bought any merch. Much appreciated. And we'll see you next time. Bye, guys.